Okay, everyone. Um, well, good afternoon and uh, welcome to this afternoon's press conference with the 2021 a and &E Inspiration Champion, Patty Tavatanaka. Patty, um, how much are you looking forward to uh, playing in the AIG Women's Open this week and, and also the challenge that um, Carnoustie presents? I'm really looking forward to it. I feel like this is the most um, excited I've been uh, to play in an event um, just because I played in in last year, my, my first time playing Lynx and just being in Europe and play. Um, you know, I went back, I didn't do so well last year. I went back and I told my coach that like, I want to, you know, be better at hitting these shots and be better around the green. I developed a lot um, in terms of, um, you know, working my games to fit in, um, in the course conditions to, to play and win and to control my flight. And, you know, just, it's a little bit more wholesome. That's why I'm just looking forward to play this week and um, had a really good practice in the win last week too. So um, coming into this week, I feel like I'm a little bit more prepared than last year. And what are your sort of initial impressions of Carnoustie? What, what kind of challenge does it set for the players? Um, it's pretty narrow. Um, you got to, hit it pretty solid. It's, I feel like it's a ball striking course. If you get your way around the green and, you know, just keep hitting fairways and greens, you're going to be in a good position. Okay, well, we'll take some questions from the media online. If you'd like to raise your question, um, we'll unmute you and you can uh, ask your question to Patty. Oh, um, okay. We've got a question from ben, ben, Beth Ann Nichols. Go ahead, Beth. Hi, Patty. Hi. I, I was wondering if you could just uh, give us a little more details in the, to the particular shots that you went back to Grant and said you wanted to work on and, and, and then which one do you feel most comfortable with now? Um, mainly controlling my uh, trajectory, you know, which is each shots. I feel like you can move it left or right with the right trajectories and just the appropriate amount of um, spin rates and stuff. And did Grant give you any kind of uh, advice on Carnoustie or tell you a little bit about the history of the place or anything? Um, I mean, it is pretty historical venue. I feel like just being here, you know, you already feel pretty, you know, I mean, I'm proud to be here and just, you know, the history of it and having uh, a woman's major championship here, it's, it's just been an honor, but, other than that, like prepping to come here and playing the course, my grand was just saying, you know, like you gotta be smart and just be patient with playing in the win. I mean, every course is pretty simple and straightforward if you, you know, strike the ball well and stay out of trouble. But obviously like that's an ideal situation. Like you're just not gonna have that like perfect ground every single day out here, especially in this top condition. Thank you. Okay, we've got the next question from Amy Rogers. Amy, go ahead. Hey, Patty. Hi. I'm curious if you can describe a little bit more what that first uh, Women's Open experience was like for you and, and what you were feeling out there. Um, it was definitely different golf. I feel like I was trying to be perfect too much. And, you know, you can't really be like that on Lynx course. Um, you just just gotta be yourself and like embrace all the challenges and just play and play like, play like you own the course, play like, you know, be brave, just no fear and just play. And, you know, you hit one bad shot, you gotta take your medicine and just go hit the next one. Just keep hitting shots after shot, like just basically be present and, um, you know, like hope for the best. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, do we have any um, further questions? If you'd like to ask a question, raise your hand or um, ah, here we go. Another question from Beth. Uh, go ahead, Beth. Yeah. Hi, Patty. I know that um, you had an extended break there that was maybe longer than you anticipated with paperwork issues, I understand. Um, was it refreshing still to have to have that break? And, and, and what did you do that maybe you wouldn't have been able to do otherwise? Um, you know, I'm not taking, 
a rest time or some time off of golf for granted at all. I feel like I wish I played more, wish I stay in it and, you know, keep my momentum going because I was playing really well up until KPMG. And then obviously didn't, I was supposed to play three weeks in a row. I didn't feel too good um, before a marathon. So I pull out and, you know, just have some um, health issue that I was concerning. And then I got to Michigan and then the minute I got there, I had to go and try to get to Avion and that also didn't happen. It was just something out of control and I feel like I wouldn't change a thing and everything happens for a reason. And I'm really grateful for my time at home and just to rest. And if anything, on top of that, I feel really fresh um, finishing off this season with how many tournaments we have left, like eight, 10. I mean, I'm, I'm fresh and I feel like I have a little bit more energy than other girls. So did the health issue resolve itself? It did. I mean, I've been seeing my trainer um, that whole week, the week of marathon, and I felt a lot better and I got my strength up and I feel like, you know, that was that week off was much needed and then was ready to play in Michigan and couldn't play and hope hopefully I make it to Evian and didn't make it there. So um, started back at the Olympics. So it's, it is what it is, you know, like I'm here to play and feel more refreshed than ever. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, another question and this time it's from Kanita. Go ahead, Kanita. Hi, Patty. Hi. So, so um, would you mind if I would ask you in Thai, please? ค่ะเราจะถามคําถามอาจจะตอบตอบกับท่านอื่นมาแล้วนะคะว่าเอ่อรายการเนี้ยเมื่อปีที่แล้วอ่ะแพตตี้อาจจะทําผลงานได้